Warning, the time wasted watching this video is non-refundable. Coop? Yeah, we're in a studio. It's, it's amazing. Um, did you want to give us a little tour uh, when he's set up? Yeah. And to the studio. And I don't know. This is kind of my main workspace. Whatever I need to do, I do it in here. Usually it's painting. Right now I'm shooting photographs for a project. And these are these are just a couple of paintings that, uh, you know, there's the, that one I'm kind of in the middle of right now. This one's, this one's done. I did an illustration of a skull, and to do the illustration, I shot a, I, I, you know, bought a little model kit of a skull and painted it silver, and photographed it. And then after I, after I'd done the illustration and everything, I was looking at the photograph. And I was like, I can, I could do some of that photograph. So I, I did like a digital, digitally, I did like a reverse half tone, and then, you know, projected it with an opaque projector and and painted all the dots by hand. And then the background is just like a bunch of layers of black paint. And on see. top of the satin black, oh, yeah, I did yeah. gloss black. I made a little yeah. stencil of a skull and painted it as a pattern. Yeah. So, yeah. so in certain lights, you can jump out. I'm really good at doing paintings that look amazing in person and look really shitty in a photo, and which is great because everybody buys art by looking at a JPEG now. So I'm <laughs> My my career plan is just working out <laughs> wonderfully. Right. So and this is this is one of three panels that I, I did this for. Um, this was a commission for the graffiti artist scene, and I'm I'm just waiting for him to. He's building a building that this is going to go. <laughs> so I'm I'm holding on to it until he's until he's done. Richie, come pick up your paintings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really mind because I kind of really like this one. I, I, you know, I wouldn't mind keeping it. Although, where I don't know where the fuck I'm going to put it, but right there. I mean, I'm already <laughs> like I can't hang any of my paintings in my house because my house isn't big enough for the paintings that I paint. So I don't know. <laughs> this is one of the first one I did, which was a a record store. So we did. I did the full interior, and I I printed out little album covers and. And then the craziest thing about this was I put some photos of this up, you know, on Twitter or whatever, and it, you know, it went viral. And then I had all these people from the bands that are on the records, like, you know, sending me Twitter messages about how cool it was. And I was like, that's pretty nuts. <laughs> so, but but anyway, like I said, I started doing this as just kind of a a hobby thing, and then. I had an art gallery that I deal with said, oh, well, do you do want to do a show of these? I was like, I don't know. And then I had a museum call me and say, we want you to build a whole Lego city for this group show that we're doing. So I'm like, I guess now I'm a Lego artist. So. Uh, there's all my flat files with my burned out light, where that's where all the poster inventory is. And this is my, my giant ass light table that I got. Yeah. I got for free because nobody fucking wants lunch tables anymore because everything's digital now. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach! I found this out at the Pomona Swap Meet all built. Oh wow, with yeah, the, With the case. Those. Oh yeah. And yeah, it was like, box. I found it and I was like, oh this is fucking awesome and I didn't realize I was going to have to carry it around <laughs> all fucking day until I got back to the car. So I, was like, I think my arms are about two inches longer now. <laughs> Of that. Come on! Come on! Yeah, these all ended up coming home, coming over here from the house after my son got old enough to decide <laughs> that he wanted to play with them. So these are all they did all these crazy sets that are like super detailed, gigantic. That was the one thing I wanted, like. I, you know, I hadn't bought any Star Wars, like, action figures or anything since I was a kid. 
and then about five years ago, I saw how many of the guys from the cantina scene they had made action figures of, and I was like, fuck, I want, like, all of those. So yeah. I spent, yeah. like, months on eBay grabbing all of those, as many of them as I could, and, yeah. uh, and now they sit there and collect dust, so... <laughs> Alright, so I, Sam from Different Strokes. Every time I Sam from Different Strokes. Every time I go to Rhode Island, right? Every time I go, every time I go to Rhode Island, you sure, right? Then we go to Providence. I was Sam from Different Strokes, and all the chicks would sit on my they lap like, and kiss on me, oh and they were God, older they college know. chicks. I was come. Like, I was like, what's, what's 17, the story like? Like, 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 what's the story like? like I was redhead. I'm a redhead, and they just bought it. They so it so your, your brother, your brother Blair told everyone you were Sam. My brother told all the chicks in the college town that I was Sam from Different Strokes, and then they, from I could do whatever strokes. I fucking wanted, dude. Whatever <laughs> I wanted, they'd bring me to all the parties. I never drank, I never <laughs> smoked weed, I never did drugs. I was like, chicks on my lap. I'm like taking bong, the, like bong ribs and cake stands. When the gals sit on you, and I they still love have people you, to this day and they telling sit me on your lap and I they still give have you people going, smokes and "Is that stuff? that's Sam from Different that's Strokes?" And I'm feeling. like, "No, that can't be still going, dude. That was like a lie." Well, it's Empire Strikes Back, and that's it. <laughs> I can stick with that because I'd know myself, and it'd be like, you know, "No, that's a fun, good. Right? You do have to limit yourself, definitely." Mm -hmm. There's so much out there now with the sideshow stuff too. Fuck. Well, it's yeah, I'm not going to start buying. I'm not going to spend eight hundred dollars for a Boba Fett statue. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> And this is all the fucking stupid Japanese toys. Wow. Holy shit. That out. It's crazy. Probably, this is probably, you know, 15 years worth of collecting. Yeah, you've got, you know, Shoguns I've never seen before, of course. It's insane. I've got a few, but, you know, I have like three. But. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, this is a... I wish I could some, find some else. dude in Hong Kong to come and just buy it all. And, Maybe maybe this maybe this video will help. Because yeah, it's another thing where you just I'm I'm at that point in my life where I'm like, man, you don't own stuff. Stuff owns you. That's your pinballs. Yeah. That's your wizard. Okay. That's another thing. It's like it's a, these another these giant are, fucking thing you gotta move. Yeah, these are sickness. I put I have, I'm down to three. I had a lot of arcade machines and pinball machines. Sold the herd. Got three of them at Free Gold Watch on, I think it's on Dollar Play in my uh -huh. buddy's VIP room. So they're actually earning, well, well they're, being, they're in storage and they're earning. So well, yeah, cool. one of mine is sort of on permanent loan to my friend who has a, you know, he has a place with like 50 old pins. So it's like, I can just go play it if I want to go play it. So I don't have, yeah. and I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally, totally, yeah. Well, yeah. man, yeah, thanks for showing us uh, your studio. Sure. Wait, hold on. Is this Donnie TV? Be, 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 be. Your brother, your brother told everyone you're Sam. My brother told me at all the chicks in the college town that I was saying we did these drugs, and then they, I could do whatever I fucking wanted, dude. Whatever I wanted, dude. Bring me. So the video of so, so. from Jersey, Boston, so, and New Hampshire. Every right? time I all right, so I, Sam from different, different every time strokes. I Sam from different strokes. Every time I go to Rhode Island, right? Every time I every time I go to Rhode Island, you sure, right? Then we go to Providence. I was Sam from different strokes, and all the chicks would sit on my they lap like, and kiss on me, oh and oh they were God, older they college like, chicks. I was come. Like, I was like, what's, what's the story like? Like, 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 what's the story like? like I was redhead. I'm a redhead, and they just bought it. They so it so your, your brother, your brother told everyone you were Sam. My brother told all the chicks in the college town that I was Sam from Different Strokes, and then they, from I could do whatever strokes. I fucking wanted, dude. Whatever <laughs> I wanted, they'd bring me to all the parties. I never drank, I never right. smoked weed, I never did drugs. I was like, chicks on my lap. I'm like taking bong, the, like bong ribs and cake stands. When the gals sit on you, and I they still love have people you, to this day and they telling sit me. On your lap and I they still give have people going. And smokes and is that stuff. that's Sam from Different Strokes? And I'm feeling. like, no, that can't be still going, dude. That was like a lie.